the packs you get from sealed are not, do not count towards wild cards. No, no. Um, but the you win packs with sealed that that do count towards wild, the wild cards. Um, but anyway, uh, I guess it's a uh, opening this YouTube video with a question. But welcome everybody on YouTube, and of course everybody here in chat. Another video. Um, you know, another day, another video. We're playing Grixis Legends again. We've played this a couple of times so far. It's been a very popular deck. Maybe, maybe the most popular deck on on my YouTube channel, I think, was uh, Grixis Legends here. So, let's try it again. So, therefore, y'all probably know what this is about. Um, but if you don't, really, what we got here is a Yogmoss Vile Offering deck. This is what we're building. The deck is built around this card. We're trying to cast this card and get the third chapter of Eldest Reborn immediately, where you get to put a creature or Planeswalker from your graveyard onto the battlefield under, under your control. Um, or also, uh, and also destroy one creature or Planeswalker. So you also get like a Chupacabra effect as well. You ranked the diamond with this deck with the exact same list? Hey, nice, Sun the Witch. Awesome. So, yeah, so that means the list is pretty good. So, in order to cast this, though, you do need a legendary creature or planeswalker. So, we got lots of legendary creatures and planeswalkers in the deck. Um, so, let's let's keep playing it. It's a real fun deck to play. Uh, where are we at? Grixis Legends. Let's go. Yeah, uh, thanks QQ Image. Thanks for the cheer there. Um, yeah, there's no alerts for some reason today. I have to, like, no alerts for, for subs or anything either today. It's a real bummer. Um, I have to, I guess, just delete my alert thing and, and, re, and go back and re-add everything. That's what the Streamlabs site says to do whenever it, it's not working. So that's a huge bummer. But yeah, so I'm going to do that after stream today. But you're the first person to cheer today, so you're taking over that top spot. There are no, there, there are no non-legendary planeswalkers. Every single planeswalker is just legendary um, by default. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the Golgari Aggro Lands video up on YouTube. Uh, I was hoping that we would draw a red source here for Squee. Didn't quite get there. But we'll start ripping their party hand with these Nikki Bs. We're not doing that bad. We're going to be doing just fine. I, you know, I love them putting the Chupacabra into their graveyard. Not only because it's a card that kills Nicol Bolas, but it's also just a, a card in their graveyard that's a really good one to get back with the Yawgmoss Vile offering. <laughs> yeah, Squee is the ultimate enabler because... Because we can get Squee on the battlefield, and then our opponent won't kill Squee, because it's just a, a stupid Squee. And then, since they're not going to kill Squee, then we'll be able to Vile Offering, like, kill their Wild Growth Walker, get Chubacabra back, kill something else. It'll be great. If our opponent doesn't play a removal spell here, though... Ooh, no removal spell. I guess we can go... Two for one Mondays. Two for one special. Yeah, might as well cast that... Cast this right now before um, before there's a potential Vivian Reed that kills the Nicol Bolas or something like that. Let's clean up that battlefield a little bit. Let's do a little clean up on aisle four. Clean up. We just have the, the double Chupacabra. Yep, there's the Vivian. The wild wasn't meant. So good thing we got rid of the wrath of Scala. 
all those creatures and stuff while we could. Now we get to play Ral. Oh, but Ral won't minus. Uh, Ral's not gonna be able to minus and kill Branchwalker. My plan was Ral minus kill Branchwalker. Ugh. All right, so new plan: Sarkin. Sarkin, tick up, add mana. You will. They are coming. Also play Nicol Bolas. And then, uh, I guess I I should probably trade. Well, I don't I don't think I do tr trade Branchwalker and Chupacabra, do I? Because they both just go to their graveyard and they can like find finality, get back Chupacabra, and then have Chupacabra kill Nicobolus. I don't think I should attack Vivian there. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yes, you can have Nicol Bolas and flipped Nicol Bolas on the battlefield at the same time. Yes. I didn't live through hell they, to lose to you. They have different names, so you're good to go there. This is nothing. <laughs> All right, we will loot away Squee. Madness! <laughs> what madness! That's a good draw. So now we good thing we didn't attack earlier because we get to kill this branch walker and now kill their Vivian. Scars are so good no attack earlier. Skin. Let's play Rao as well. And we are crushing. <laughs> Time to choose. Oh, it's so exciting. Can you explain what's KCI Dex win condition? Yeah, you get infinite mana, and then um, they usually have a pirate spell bomb that uses like two mana to be able to deal two damage, and you just loop, and you can continually loop that and kill your opponent. You can keep on returning it back from the graveyard to your hand. Um, there's a really, really good K uh, KCI YouTube video that was made by. Um, I think it was made by TCG player. Yeah. Okay. So this. Here you go. Here's a good aim. I just typed in KCI explained into YouTube, but that's it's a really cool explanation there. If you want to watch that video, but of course keep the stream on. Uh, I can turn. So, I'm thinking if I if I want to loot either of these away or not. I can turn Lazav. I don't think so. I think I'll just keep Lazav. I can turn Lazav into Nicol Bolas. Play all, we'll just play our hand out. And we'll be able to flip Ascanta next turn. Correct. You cannot flip Lazav. Really? Are they just going to finality or something? They just won their graveyard for... Maybe they won their graveyard for find. They just want to attack into Squee. Sure. Their plan was to attack into Squee. All right. Fair enough. Let's go blue, blue, red. Ooh, Vile Offering. That's what I want. All right, give me this Golgari Fine Broker. And I'm going to kill your thing. I'm going to go take their Fine Broker from them so they can't Memorial the Folly it back. And Fine Broker will go get my Nicol Bolas back. <laughs> uh, I guess I could have had Vivian in play. 
but whatever. I want my I want a nickel bolus. No, well, Squee was not in my hand. Squee was in the graveyard at the time. It looked like Squee was in my hand because of how they have it, but Squee was in the graveyard. I had already discarded Squee. Um, dude, yeah, Yogmoth's file offering is so good, so good. Uh, what do we do against Golgari? I remember we like bringing all the Ritual of Soots and most all the Thought Erasures. I cut the Immolating Infernos. Trim one Rona, one Ral, um, one Sarkin. 62. Has we, have we ever lost when Squee is at the battlefield? I'm not sure if we have. Um, you need to win two matches for a break-even on these. For break-even with gold, and then you also get, like, random rares. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe a blade wing. Or a Lazav. Or maybe just a Blade Wing. When you get to kick Blade Wing, it's pretty good, but just a single Blade Wing, uh, you know, with Chupacabra, Vivian, that kind of stuff. Definitely not cutting Search for Escanta at all against any mid range control deck. It is incredibly good. It's a common thing that people want me to cut Search for Escanta a lot, and I never do, because the card just wins games. And two mana. The like the amount of the amount of card selection and card advantage you get, and also ramping for just a low cost of two mana, is pretty ridiculous with Search for Escanta. The card's unbelievably good. We need the red mana, right? Yeah, we need this red mana. That's what I was looking for. Whoa. No land for the opponent? They just kept two lands with nothing else? They kept... Keeping a two lander is fine, but a two lander with nothing else to do. Ugh. Couldn't delay them another turn. They may have, I guess, two land with multiple jade lights. That could be keepable. I don't hate two land multiple jade lights. Thankfully, though, our opponent. That's the great part about playing Yagmas Vile Offering against Explore, also. Yet again, our, our opponent explored a Doom Whisperer to the graveyard, so we just get to get a Doom Whisperer next turn. Because there's no way they have removal for both Nicobolus and Lazav. Oh no, you love playing Grixis but you only have one Bolus? No. Gonna go out on a limb and say as Kanto is one of the top five cards in Arena. Yeah, that's not, not too far of a, a limb to... not too far of a stretch there. Well, I'll take this Doom Whisperer. Thank you. The... The Chupacabra Whisperer. Just take a Chupacabra Whisperer. Hey, Casey Nelson. Oh, not much. Just having Doom Whisperer. Just casting Doom Whisperer and having it ETB and kill creatures like Chupacabra. That's all we're doing over here. Man, Yagwas Vile Offering is busted. Especially when our opponent does nothing in in five turns, they cast a single J Light Ranger and did nothing else. Then it's real busted. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably best to save your gold for the next set. We're only 10 days away from the next set. But this is a definitely a real fun deck. Hey, Night Owl. Yep, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Bum, 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 bum
Ooh. I forgot we got Charter Courses in here. Charter Course is sweet. Uh, deck, why you do this? Deck, no. There's not a schedule for the rest of the sets, like, like, as far as, like, what cards will be revealed when, of course, because we don't know what cards, but the rest of the, like, the entire set will be revealed on Friday. Um, like, the Wizards website will have the entire set in, in total on Friday. So, Friday, we're going to have a special stream here. <clears throat> I guess I haven't, I haven't uh, mentioned this again since earlier. Um, on Friday, we're going to be doing our, our set review. This is the 11th, for January 11th, we're going to be doing a constructed set review of everything in Ravnica Allegiance. We'll go color by color. We'll have a YouTube video, one of each color. Um, so if, uh, so if you want to be a part of that in chat, talking all the new cards and everything, um, then, uh, make sure you're here on Friday from 3 to 10 and you know we'll, by constructed set review I'm talking standard you know so like we'll be talking through standard a bunch you know we may like in passing mention that a card is good in other formats but you know we're we're gonna be talking standard here so thanks uh, Noct Noctis for letting me know about that yeah deck yeah, deck requests, um, donation decks. Uh, that was like one of the decks we did earlier was a donation deck. Lots of information down below in the info panel, all about donation deck information there. You can uh, read about everything there if you'd like to if you'd like to donate to see your deck played on stream. So our opponent is just filled with removal. In their hand, so it looks like looks like their hand entire hand's removal, so they can't do anything until we do stuff. Um, which kind of makes Squeak kind of great here. I guess we play Sarkin. Sarkin, of course, just gets contempted for sure. I guess we play Sarkin. Ah, so they are playing counter spells. Not all Grixis decks play counter spells. But of course, I was gonna, I was gonna loot away Squee there. But they'll disinformation campaign. We'll discard Squee. So that's going to be our plan for the stream on the 11th, Friday the 11th. Um, kind of going through previewing. We'll, I'll give a le letter grade for each card for standard, you know, A through F, um, after we talk about it here in chat. And um, and then I'll be uploading those to YouTube, of course, also on, on that Friday as well. Time to make Squee great again. Squee the immortal. We're just trading with cards. Yeah, they definitely had another Sinister Sabotage with how they shocked in there. So I was certainly going to play Squee into that. Um, kind of a big decision here of what we want to discard. I think it's going to be Rona. So that'll be the 11th. Ravnica Allegiance doesn't come to... Doesn't come to... 
arena until the 17th. And so then starting the 17th, I'm going to be doing sealed, um, the sealed events and also draft and trying to build the, my collection up. I've been fooling around with a Naya Primal Amulet deck, and let me tell you what, it's been a ton of fun, and people rage quit at times, it's fantastic. I've cast Banefire for 70 so far, and I've gotten 80 tokens off March. That sounds awesome. That sounds really cool. I am... Um... Yeah, if you send me the list, Alkalal, I'll, I'll, uh... I am down to play that one tomorrow. Do we think... They're going to have another counter spell, probably. I'm going to chart a course here, draw two. I'm going to try to hit a land drop here. Oh gosh, still no land drop? Well, we'd have to just discard anyway, so we might as well just... Might as well just cast this Lava Coil. We'd have to just go and discard it anyway. Hmm... How are we doing here for Ral? We got two instants and sorceries for Ral. Hopefully this works. Okay, it worked. That was a really good hit off the, the charter course there. Thanks, Holy Avatar. Yeah, the YouTube does not have the awesome music. Uh, with the copyright stuff, you know, can't have music on YouTube, so. Okay. Well, you've been doing good with it so far. So I guess you've been playing it in best of one then. Um, hmm. Holy Avatar with the sub. Unfortunately, the sub notifications aren't working today, so we're not getting the hype boat on the stream, but we're going to get them in the chat. Thanks so much for the support there, Holy Avatar. I really appreciate it. Hey, Penumbra! Join in there as well. Seventh month in a row. Comments. You're a rock star. Can we get some more hype boats in the chat for our new subs? Holy Avatar. And, well, re new sub Holy Avatar, resub Penumbra. Thank y'all. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Um. I want to be able to play Squee and Nicol Bolas next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just discard a, a Vile Offering. Um, Joyra, you know, you have to cast your other, you'd have to cast other historic spells to draw cards. Um, I don't know, maybe it's worth it. I haven't really found it worth it too much. Kind of in general. To have Joyra. Unless you have, like, cheap legendary stuff that you can play Joyra and play other things reliably in the same turn. So they're certainly going to get something from, from our graveyard with Eldest Reborn. Most likely Ral. Yeah, 
Yeah, most likely Rao. I don't want to give them Niv Mizzet, right? So like I'm I'm not gonna expose Niv Mizzet. I don't want them to get that. Do you think Frilled Mystic is worth playing in a Moldrotha Journey to Eternity deck? Heck yeah. That's exactly what it's for. Journey to Eternity with that thing. Get like a sacrifice outlet so you can keep putting it back in your graveyard, and then keep putting it back in play, encountering every spell your opponent plays. That sounds perfect to me. I never back down from a challenge. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Another fungal fungal infection to take out my squee. So we need another land if we're if we're gonna go squee Yogmoth's vile offering. Like I was hoping squee was still just gonna be in play for the vile offering. That was honestly a good fungal infection. So hopefully we get a land here. Land would be perfect. All right. I don't know if they have a counter spell. I hope they don't. No counter, no counter, no counter. No counter. Okay. I've been through worse. Now, the problem... Okay, uh, there you go. There, there, that link worked. So there's the list. I've played it in best of one, but main best of three. But I just clicked submit no sideboard. It's been fine. Has not been fine tuned yet. Cool. So the, the big problem here is... Of course, we do not have, taking this, we do not have a good card to discard there. You know, we just have to discard Vile Offering. Oh no, Disinformation Campaign is going to take Niv Mizzet and now then they'll get it back with Eldritch Reborn. Yep. Hey, we, we didn't do anything forever at the beginning of this game and we still kind of fought back. But now they get Nimb is it. That's that's not good for us. So what can I draw? I'm not sure. There's no more there's no more vials in our deck. Yeah, they get to miss it and I'm dead. Alright, let's get all these negates in here. A blood fast and all the thought erasures. Um We're gonna take out Lava Coil. Take out Immolating Inferno. Take out Bladewing, Lazav. A lot of things get exiled. Don't know if I need all these Thought Erasures. It's kind of like the... Yeah, I should have Thought Erasures. Yeah. If you copy Cleansing Nova, can you have the other destroy option? I don't believe so. I believe, like, whenever you copy a spell, you copy the option that was chosen. Let's have a couple coils in. They're probably going to play Thief of Sanity against me. If Lazav becomes a Rekindling Phoenix, does it leave the egg? I think so. I think so. Uh, 
Right. We don't have a whole lot of lands again, but we got Bloodfast. Quest today is to attack with 30 creatures. Game one start, opponent mulligans to five and concedes. Uh, getting those 30 creature attack in. <laughs> Yeah, like, Lazav won't get back the egg, but I think he'll still just get the, the egg thing, though. The egg token. Well, there goes Bloodfast. I was definitely relying on Bloodfast with this hand. Why do you choose to not have any unmoored egos in the board over thought erasures? Because unmoored ego is always card disadvantage. And not something I care about too much. So we're taking sabotage. They can have their unmoored ego if they want. Um, I would like to, them to let me draw this land first though. That would be nice. Good. I like them leading with Auto Razor. Definitely like that. I'm not expecting them to take Rona here. Good. This worked out very good. So now we'll we will play Rona. Exile the blood fast. So next turn we can cast our blood fast again. Treasure maps in the 75? Potentially. It's just kind of hard to fit them in with having all the other stuff in the deck. I mean, treasure maps are good. You know, I you know, I'd like tre like treasure maps are good. It's just kind of hard to fit them in when when we need an abundance of legendary creatures and planeswalkers also. Hey, it's me, Casey, with the sub. Sub number 13 on the day. That gets some hype. Thanks, hey, it's me, Casey. One more to go get rid of Teferi, Nexus of Fate, and Arc Lights for good. Yes. If Teferi, Nexus of Fate, becomes a lot bigger part of the metagame, then it's worth it. Like, we played against the Teferi, Nexus of Fate deck earlier, and I, and I was saying that it was like... Um, you know, we played against it earlier with Naya Value, and people were wondering why I didn't have a better sideboard for it, and I was saying that I played against it five or less times throughout, um, you know, like Bant Turbo Fog throughout, uh, the couple months that I, I've been streaming seven hours a day here, and so I didn't think it was really worth it to have that. So, hey, it's me, Casey says, really enjoying the content, glad to be able to support more of it. Thank you so much. So, they, what did they, what? They named Yagmas Vial Offering? And then they only took one, they didn't take any from the, what? Bloodfast is not the best card to play here, but it's the card I'm going to play to make sure... That, like, I, I do get to play it, because if Rona dies, I won't be able to play it anymore. So I'm going to play it here. I mean, I... That Unmoored Ego was good for me. I liked cycling that... That card, that was good for me. Alright, where's, where's our lands? There's a land. So right now there's what? There's a Sarkin. A Sarkin or a Rona. The yeah, gate's pretty good. Let's see if we hit a land drop here. Nope. Uh, that's annoying. That's going to refill their hand pretty good. Can you only cast things in exile by that copy of Rona, or is it any copy of Rona? 
Well, whenever... I think it's only that copy of Rona. Let us fight! Yeah, it's, it'd only be that copy of Rona if you if that would die, you'd have another Rona. Honestly, I should probably just let them. Actually, I don't like negating that. We have all these creatures in play. I don't like negating that anymore. I wish I would have just let them have that and then activate Bloodfast. Oh, I love this. I love trading my negate for a negate, though. Oh, I love that. Oh, wait. Thought Erasure takes everything. Right. Thought Erasure is not... Yeah, so no. That was a fine negate. That was a fine negate. It wasn't Duress. I was thinking... I was, for some reason, my mom was thinking it was Duress. No, it was Thought Erasure, actually. So that was a fine negate. And we ate their negate, though. So, overall... Good for us. Okay. There we go. Okay, so they're going to have two cards in hand. They'll have to discard one. I'll play Bolas here. I don't think... Yeah, they have not activated Sarkin yet. Look to the skies! So they're like their cards in hand. They didn't loot anything away. One was a disdainful stroke. Why did I, I, why didn't I negate the chemistry's insight? Because chemistry's insight was was worth two cards, and I was hoping to get something better with it. Um, I was I was hoping they were going to play like a disinformation campaign. Oh, that'd be a, a real good thing to hit with that. Man. Come to me. We're playing a second bolus. This Nicol transforming is kind of a problem on their side. Wait, I get to transform mine. Oh. I mean, I guess I would have had to hit the perfects of um, of, exact, of exactly what we hit there. Of mill something over for the seventh card and then draw land. It's incredible. Isn't death amusing? I didn't have the mana to activate Bloodfast in response to the bolus. So they did have another bolus they could have played. They're they're reading bolus here to see if they could add the Sarkin mana for it. Alright, anyway, what do you think of the new sweeper and is it the life gain ever relevant in decks that would play that card? Potentially the life gain is relevant. I mean it's you know it's most likely, most of the time, it won't be relevant, but, you know, you'll have creatures out Bolus sometimes. told me I should do this. Um, but no, it looks pretty strong. You know, four mana sweepers are really good. Removal and standard's already incredibly good. Um, you know, it does have a very, uh, does have a very tough mana cost with white, white, black, black. Um, and I like that. I like that if it's if it's going to be four mana, it's got to have a tough mana cost. Because even Supreme Verdict being white, white, blue was not a very tough mana cost. So, I like that. Hmm. Hmm. My opponent just played the land. They just played the land? What are they doing? Hmm. 
Like they could have they could have just kept that in hand and the chemist's insight that land away and drawn to. So I'm thinking I think I may just kill both of their things and have Nicobola still. I could just play Niv Mizzet and draw two. No, I want to kill their things. You ought to die. I mean, do I really need to... Maybe I don't need to kill Sarkin, though. I guess I don't really need to kill Sarkin. Uh, you are bold! My knowledge is endless. I don't need to kill Sarkin. I was thinking about just minus threeing that and killing the Sarkin, but I decided just to attack it. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that hard to cast an Esper too much either. Mana base will be good. <laughs> I'll show you unhinged. Ocean rain. Should be able to get this game with having Nikki B transformed. Don't really lose when you have Nikki B transformed. I always have an answer. All right, Niv Mizzet, took up, draw two, deal two to Sarkin. <laughs> Thought Erasure, that's a spell. Draw a card. Last one to Sarkin. Take their other card. And there we go. I have a friend who's named Nickel. Scottish fellow. I bet that's a, a very nice person. Why not play Ral there, down tick, attack Sarkin, and draw two? Hmm. And he likes playing magic? Nice. Alright, let's keep it the same. That Rona was huge for us, honestly. That Rona, get our Argyle's Bloodfast back, cast Argyle's Bloodfast. You know, we drew, we drew a few cards with that that was very important. Um, that helped us get our lands. Hey, EOD guy. Why the Squee? Because Squee is amazing. Uh, we don't have blue mana. I don't really like mulliganing in this matchup, though. You know, like this matchup's such such about attrition. But you know, our our hand's definitely good if we draw a blue source. It's it's all tap lands, so that's also bad. So we have all tap lands are bad. Um, not having blue mana is bad. But the thing is, I'm gonna keep it anyway. The thing is, the matchup's gonna go longer. They're gonna like have like duresses and, and thought erasures and stuff to take the cards out of my hand. So like what's in my hand isn't really that important. I think just having seven cards is pretty important. Like we have three lands, we have seven cards. I think that's better than six cards. So th that's the thing. So So yeah, so you're saying mullet, there's such better hands on the draw, but is there better hands of having six and then also getting duress and thought erasured and disinformation campaign and stuff like that? I don't know. On the play, I wouldn't keep it. Because on the play, it's a lot less chance that we have the blue mana. But on the draw, I think we can draw into, like, you know, we get that extra card. I think we can draw into the blue mana. I think it's worth it. Because, yeah, I like having the seven cards against the discard heavy deck. We can 
have a blade wing not kicked next turn if, if we would like. There's only one swamp in the deck. But yeah. And then Mizzet with the one swamp. Alright, let me get... Let me set up the... Bulgari Aggro land deck. Blue mana? Tilt. Get rid of. I guess I just get rid of Niv Mizzet. Okay. Are there any good dual lands in the next set? Yeah, there's going to be the the other five shock lands um, that were not in in this set. So you know, colors like black, white, red, black, blue, white, green, blue. And green, red. Those are all going to get shock lands. Um, let me get this Golgari aggro land deck list. Getting this up on YouTube. Yep. Uh, hmm. I'm pretty glad they did not cast. Um, Alright, I think we're good to go there. That's good. I'm pretty glad they did not cast Disinformation Campaign. I didn't really want to get rid of any of these. They're getting rid of Contempt. We get something good. Alright, one more blue source. We could play Niv Mizzet potentially. Um I don't think we've seen the last of KCI, but I think it would be good if something from KCI was banned. I don't think KCI is good for for magic. Like I don't think it's an enjoyable experience. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I so, I wouldn't be surprised if it's banned soon, but I don't think it'll be real soon. Like, we've not seen the last of the deck. Yep, Miss Naya value earlier. Ow! Good aim. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, like KCI at all. Squeeze the best non-land draw that we could have. Um, you know, because any any uh, spell we draw, we have to discard to Eldest Reborn. So I wanted to draw a land there, since we were just gonna have to discard it. But squeeze the best non-land. It looks like it's still just in our hand anyway. So we have to, you know, like our opponent's going to be able to have the third chapter of Eldritch Reborn get back Niv Mizzet. Hmm. And I don't know what I'm going to really do about that right now. Yeah, hopefully Ascanta can win the game. Ascanta certainly could win the game. Um, Ral has eight loyalty, though. And I only have Yawgmoth's Vile Offerings as answers to Ral, so there's only two. And if they if they kill Nicol Bolas, which is, you know, presumed, I can't cast Squee and Yawgmoth's Vile Offering, even with transforming Search for Escanta. So basically, 
we're very dead to this rail if our nickel bolus dies. Our nickel bolus died. It's not surprising. So I don't think we can win now. Wow. And there's the vial offering. We're just one mana short. One mana short. Do you know how good this would be if we had one more mana? Them like being tapped out. I would kill Rao and put Niv Mizzet into play. Do you know how good that would be? They would be. Oh man, that'd be so good. Yeah, that's that's what's cost us all three of these games. We still we still got there the second game, but we've just missed so many land drops in this match. Well, I mean, we didn't really miss land drops there. We're missing colors. Yeah, it's possible they tick up and keep Rowl around, I suppose. But, no. I don't think they will. They got Niv Mizzet. I mean, sorry, they have. Yeah, they have Niv Mizzet and they have Ascanta, so they have plenty of cards with those. There's, there's really no reason to, to tick up Rowl. If they take up Rao, it's a complete mistake. They may do it, but it's a complete mistake. Oh, come on. It's a complete mistake. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Having Niv Mizzet and Ascanta in play. Should certainly get the emblem. But the thing is, is they're not going to lose. You know, like, they're going to win. They're, like, so it's not going to really matter. But they're going to do that. Our opponent's best card was certainly that uh, the Eldest Reborn. Certainly the best card against me. Um, I think my best shot is my opponent pings me and not squee. Dang. I think my best my best shot was they pinged me and not squee and I could Ooh, minus a battle. It. I'm all tingly. Or it might just be static. Out of the blue. And auto tap it's not gonna let me cast the squee again. Uh, I need to cast that squee again to protect my rail. From that Eldritch Reborn, but I should have shocked in the water grave first. Because then auto tap probably would have done it right. Oh well. One and one. Opponent got us. I wish they would have had uh, all those unmoored, ego or like unmoored egos like they had the first time. But. No. Alright, Valley, good night. Yep, we got Grixis time, Ox. We had two mana. We had the Water Grave in our hand, though, also. So we had, you know, we could have had three mana with the Water Grave. I could have mulliganed that hand. 
of course. I don't think that's a tough matchup for us. I mean, I think I think I would win that matchup um, most of the time, but not gonna win it all the time. Looks like we get to try it out again. Your Dragon Grixis deck is going pretty strong. I've been tuning it for about a week. Nice. Keep it up. This maybe is a Drakes as well. I'm just playing the Squee here, being careful in a counter spell. I should, I should probably just be playing Sarkin though, because Sarkin would let us niv it the following turn. Yeah, this is looking like Drakes, in which against Drakes I wanted I should have would have wanted to Sark and then Niv it. But that's okay. We'll still be able to do that the next turn. Ah, it's Grixis. Okay. My favorite thing about the last GP is learning the Galaxy Brain Cyborg tech of one Hollowed Fountain and Stony Silence in the Is It Phoenix decks for the artifact matchups. I like that. So do I want to discard? We begin. I don't need this. I need yeah, this. Yeah, I'm gonna discard Blade Wing. I don't think we're going to really need Blade Wing. Um, if Sarkin if Sarkin dies, I want I wanted two draws at at another land. Like if they had like contempt for Sarkin, I wanted two draws at another land for Ral. If they don't kill Sarkin, then we get to Niv Mizzet. it. Hmm. Do we think they're blocking? Probably not. They probably don't block this. All right, you got me. I you got me. You. Oh, so it's not Grixis, right, because Beacon Bolt, Crackling Drake, yeah, so it's not, not Grixis. Can you still cast Squee when an enemy Thought Stealer exiles it? Yeah, yeah, Thought Erasure, yep, you can cast it from Exile, cast it from Graveyard or from Exile, you cast it from anywhere. They're going to shock plus beacon bolt or shock plus coil, anything like that. Don't have any removal still for this crackling Drake. It's a little unfortunate that now we're drawing our lands that we missed a land drop last turn. Didn't draw them last turn. That's okay. So crackling Drake kills Sarkin. And then I play Ral. You think you're a warrior? I think I play Ral here and tick up. It's either that or just Charter Course and Charter Course and Sarkin. Should we do Charter Course and Sarkin? Yeah. <laughs> no problem, JJ Jr. He told me I would f I know what I'm doing. Mm 
Hmm. That's unfortunate. I definitely want to get rid of the swamp. If my opponent ignores Sarkin, ignores Sarkin, we do get two extra mana for Niv, where we can Strike potentially like have a two-mana spell. They did not, though. But yeah, we need to find removal. Yeah, ten days until Ravnica Allegiance on Arena. It's going to be great. Ten days. We're basically there. They coiled Niv, Niv before. Not having a single removal spell is kind of rough. Yep, getting all all those gems on packs and sealed, and it'll be great. What guild has most intrigued you at the outset, Todd? Yeah, Rakdos looks really, really good. I think that they've gotten the best cards, like, overall. Uh, of course, I, I really like Rule myself as well. Those are the two guilds that have been intriguing me the most. I uh, have one spell for a Ral Downtick, one Charter Course. So we need... We need Ral to find Lava Coil. Lava Coil is our only chance here. Gotta find Lava Coil. You ready to go, Toad? <laughs> Hope we get something good. No Lava Coil. I don't want to show them Yawgmoth's Vile Offering. I don't want to put that in the graveyard. I'm sure they know that we have Nickel Bolas in our deck. There you go, Mass. That's so many golden gems. You're gonna be ready to go. I want these things, and hmm. Rao, Lazav, Bladewing, Sarkin. Hmm. Let's keep another Lazav and one Bladewing. Bladewing's good at blocking. It's not really that good at blocking. Another oh, Sarkin. But yeah, we're certainly going to be playing lots and lots of different decks. We're certainly going to be burn up lots of decks. Mjork, subbing for the second month in a row. That's a resub. That gets some hype. Thanks, Mjork. For pre-release? Honestly, not sure. Um, that's kind of hard, hard to tell. You know, we'll have to kind of see the rest of the set and everything. Um, but I kind of recommend whatever set you like the most for pre-release, honestly. I don't really like the the everybody trying to like get the absolute best guild on pre-release and things. Just just get the set you enjoy the most. I think that's that's really the best best thing to do. All right, so water grave to start with. This is a good hand here. Thanks, Dorky Dad. Hours of good content. I may I may do a real long stream on the seventeenth. Honestly, I've been thinking about that. Um, so we're gonna have on the eleventh. We're gonna have. Do 
want to take discovery? No. On the 11th, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have the our stream where we go through all the cards and do a huge constructed review uh, for standard going through all the different colors and everything. So that's what we're going to do on the 11th. On... Um, and maybe I have... Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that guild-wise. To split it by guilds. I think we have to just split it by colors. Um, so that's that's what's going to be on the 11th. And then 17th it comes to Arena. So we're going to be doing Sealed. I think I may do like a... I think I may try to do a 12-hour stream on the 17th of just Sealeds. Um... Is this going to is this going to be during the pre pre release you do the set review? Um I mean that's my plan is on the eleventh. I don't that I don't know if that's L L O R's pre pre release. But then I guess yeah, same same day. Um 16th, the 16th has a, yeah, so I'm going to try to do, I think I'm going to do a 20, or a 12 hour stream on the 17th, and potentially 12, maybe back to back 12 hour streams, maybe 12 hour stream on the 18th too. I kind of want to do like a special event like that, like maybe back to back 12 hour streams. Um, the 16th I'm not going to be streaming before that. The 16th is, there's a... Um, an event where there will be, um, take their Crackling Drake, kill their Crackling Drake. There's going to be, there's going to be an early, early event for streamers, uh, to be able to play Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, I'm not a part of that, so I won't have access to Ravnica Allegiance, and there's just going to be, you know, like, hundreds of streamers on playing Ravnica Allegiance. So... I, I'm just going to take that day off, and then I'll be doing, uh, I think on the 17th, 18th, maybe back-to-back 12-hour -back days of playing limited and trying to build the, trying to build through my uh, Ravnica Allegiance collection as fast as possible. So, so I'll have like that day to charge up and then be ready to go. And then we'll kind of go from there. So they have Beacon Bolt in their graveyard. So I can't really Thought Erasure away Beacon Bolt. It's in their graveyard. So let's just go ahead and... We'll go ahead and cast Nivmizit here. Yeah, we'll attack, or not attack with that. Not attack with that either. Actually, no attacks, no. Their Nimbus Drake's a 4-4 now. I was thinking it was, you know, smaller. It was going to be a 3-4, but no, it's a 4-4 now. So, don't want to attack with those. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, it's okay that I'm not a part of that. I mean, there's... It's not like a great time to be on anyway with so many other streamers and everything, so it's okay. And I'll be doing it, you know, the next two days. So my plan is to have Nicol Bolas, to transform Nicol Bolas next turn and put Niv-Mizzet back into play. If they kill Niv-Mizzet here. If they coil and exile it... Okay, they are going to coil and exile. Then I'm going to just have Niv Nicol Bolas transform and minus and do 3 damage to Enigma Drake. Or do 10 damage, I mean. No, honestly, I'm probably just going to cast the two Thought Erasures next turn. Nope, they're tapped out. Okay, with them being tapped out, they're not going to be able to save their Enigma Drake. So I'm going to kill it. How do you handle jumpstart cards and paper magic? You put them on top of your graveyard or to the side. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything different with the cards. I would just have them normally in the graveyard. Um, 
I like having the graveyard kind of fa fanned out a little bit so you can see all the cards in the graveyard. Alright, so minus three, kill the, the enemy drake. Is at my... You shall taste real pain. But yeah, just letting y'all know that I, I won't be a part of the, the event on the 16th. So I'll be taking that day off, charging up, and then do definitely do 12 hour stream the first day and maybe try to maybe back to back 12 hour days. Power, carry um, yep. Odds of victory look good. I have some bad news for you. Are you allowed to alter the ordering of the cards in your graveyard? You are in standard and you are in modern you are not in legacy basically you can because it doesn't matter but in legacy there are cards that that um the ordering of your cards do matter so you're not allowed to do it in that format they couldn't kill bolus um rouse minus only deals damage to creatures does not deal damage to planeswalkers so they could not kill bolus all right so we'll take crackling drake I will keep Sarkin, and we will tick up, draw this Sarkin, have Sarkin start filtering away, get rid of the mountain, and I'll take the chart. I'm going to take the chart, of course, also, like while the Thought Razor does stuff, but um, wanted to play Sarkin and filter first before, so we knew what, like what the card would be, and yeah, I want another Nickel Bolas. We'll keep that. Doing good here. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think we're gonna get this one. <laughs> yeah, Sarkin's basically Randy Savage, yeah. But yeah, I hope y'all will join me in the eleventh like on the eleventh for like the the constructed set review. Before me. Okay, how am I doing on mana? Yeah, we're good. So we're going to add two mana. Are you ready? Um doesn't really matter what colors. Play this. They discard their last card. One, two, three, four, five. Just barely good. Flip new nickel bolus. Keep new Nicol Bolas. Why be a beast and when I can be a god? Get this Niv Mizzet and put this into play. Death means nothing to So me. they're gonna have to like minus their Rao to kill the Niv Mizzet, which means it'll take care of the Rao. Whoa, or not? The weight is killing me. Or not? Hmm. I could, I could probably just do ten damage to my opponent by just trick with just triggers. That's one. I don't need this. I need this. That's two. I know what must be done. That's three. That's four. And five. So then see if they have like a dive down to protect their Enigma Drake or anything. Coil. I'm just gonna kill him with triggers. 
That's more fun than attacking. And we draw two, discard another land. Okay, we're going to game three. Niv is perfectly balanced. It's my opponent's Niv Mizzet, and it kills them. Right? So that's that's a balanced card. I mean, it's not too strong. Right? Because if, if it was really that strong, my, you know, like, it wouldn't kill, it wouldn't kill them, like, having a Niv Mizzet. So, yeah, they have a Niv Mizzet. And sometimes it works out for you, sometimes it kills you. And that time, their Niv Mizzet killed them. I don't love the Ral, but I guess Ral's going to be better with all, with having how we increase the instants and sorceries. Let's keep it. All right, game three. <laughs> Nothing worse than losing to your own card. Yeah. What's the main use for Lazav? Uh, the main use is turning on, um, just being like a, a two drop that surveils one that turns on Yogmoth's Vile Offering. That like our opponent doesn't kill it, and we get to cast Yogmoth's Vile Offering. Uh, besides that, the dream is, which has happened before with us playing the deck, is having a Niv Mizzet in your graveyard where you can pay six mana and copy your Niv Mizzet, and then you have a Niv Mizzet in play. We even had, we even were able to have a Niv Mizzet and copy a Niv Mizzet with Lazav, and so we had two Niv Mizzets in play. Our seven is good. Our opponent's on two, one, yep. Yeah. Well, Hawkeye, you're coming up here, and then our opponents just don't do anything. The awesome animation is certainly up there, though, too. Well, Lazav is still called Lazav. It copies Niv Mizzet, but it's still named Lazav. So it's it has every ability of Niv Mizzet except for it's named Lazav. So yeah, it doesn't rename. So you're you're good to go there. So my inner Tim Timmy wants a wants red green or Naya Dinos back after RA comes out from everything that's been spoiled so far. Is it safe to assume that it could be a thing? Yes, could definitely be a thing. Absolutely. I think uh, Naya Dinos is is already pretty good right now. Hey Lord War Bo Lord War Bear with a sub. Ah, uh, that's our fifteenth. Uh, I think we're gonna have to get a pack after this. Welcome to the stream. Let's get some hype votes for our 15th sub of the day. Love it. Getting to 15. Great day. Thank you all so much for that support. So we'll begin to pack after this to celebrate. Keep. I don't really know why I'm keeping it. Probably because it's great. Uh, it's very slow, but that's okay. Hey. Yeah, we are kind of running out of gold with with me not doing so well today. <laughs> the that's a first world problem, running out of gold on arena because too many subs. Uh oh, that's not good. I was expecting the opponent to have a lot slower deck than like after the first two turns and then war boss, and it's like oh no. Ah, we're playing against Wyatt Darby. He's very good. If I knew I was playing against Wyatt Darby, I would not have kept this hand. Because this hand is was not good against aggro decks. And Wyatt Darby is very good at killing people. With aggro decks. I would have mulliganed this hand immediately if I realized we were playing against Wyatt Darby. All right, we need we need to untap with Nickel Bolas. It's not a very good chance that we do, but if we do, we got Jaya's Immolating Inferno that can kill like the War Boss and all these other little things. Okay. All right, new game. Yeah, I really should have mulliganed that hand then. 
It's going to lose against aggro. Um, let's see. So we have Ritual of Soda and Moment of Craving in our deck. I'm down to play some Ritual of Soots. I don't hate Moment of Craving either. I definitely do not like these Rowls. Um, we'll cut Emulating Inferno like always. Rona, not gonna do not gonna do enough. I don't like the two two body here, so we're gonna get rid of a couple of Rona. And Sarkin gets attacked pretty easily. But they probably have like a good amount of grind stuff. Like I could I could expect, um, kind of expecting like. Just from, from the two cards we've seen, you know, I don't know a whole lot about his deck, but I'm kind of expecting Goblin Instigator and Siege Gang Commander and things like that. Um, so let's get Rao back in here. All right, let's let's play this one immolating Inferno, one Rao, or do I just go two Rao? Maybe just two Rao. Okay, let's try this. I might head to the casino today because my last four packs have been Divine Visitation, Doom Whisperer, Lazav, and Ionize. Nice, getting all those mythics and Ionize. Yeah, no, Guilds of Ravnica has so many good cards. It's a r really deep set. Uh, same kind of hand. Oh, I don't have... I thought there was a Shockland in here. But same, same kind of hand. But we're on the play. So good news is we're on the play and we have an early removal spell. So I like it. Well, there goes the early removal spell. Ooh, squeeze good. Squeeze good draw. Alright, so I wanted to remind y'all, if you are not following along with the YouTube channel, consider uh, hitting the follow button on YouTube. Um, and... You can check out all the replays there. It's pretty new. Just started it. On the 28th. Stop. That's why I put you up here. Yeah, definitely would have been better if we had a shock land where we could have played Squee last turn and then Nickel Bolas this turn. Would have certainly been better for us. I'm, I'm going to block Midnight Reaper if he attacks with Midnight Reaper. I'm not going to block Dusk Legion Zealot if he attacks only with Zealot. That's the plan. So just Zealot, no block. Because I want to leave Squee in play because, well, one, I don't want them to draw the card, but I want to leave Squee in play because I believe that our, um, I believe our Nickel Balls here is going to get Lava Coiled, and then I want the Squee to be able to block Midnight Reaper. I'd certainly like to draw more lava coils. Ugh, I didn't like that one getting duress away. Here, just stay here. Um, do I let them cycle the zealot for a card? No. I, I understand who my opponent is. I understand. 
I didn't know that at the very beginning of the match, and I kept a hand that was completely awful. Though I should not. I think I'm pretty dead. I think I'm pretty dead. I will be blocking Rekindling Phoenix with Nicol Bolas this turn if I have the opportunity because if we turn Rekindling Phoenix into the egg, we can ritual set that away. I think our opponent had lethal. There. I don't think I have it. I don't think I have it out here. Certainly don't have an out now. I'm playing with just a basically pretend like I had something good, but to have Lazav be able to turn into Nicol Bolas. Um. All right, so two and two with Grixis Legends. That was really my fault for keeping that first hand. It was just awful. Um. Yeah, but that's that's going to be a really tough matchup for us in general if we don't have Lava Coil. Lava Coil is a really necessary card there for Phoenix and for Midnight Reaper. The duress to take our Lava Coil was critical there in that last game. And kind of didn't draw anything big except for that. So Ritual stood at that last... At the... What was left there... Just wasn't going to kill, like, would, would kill both of our creatures and not kill their rekindling phoenix. Like, basically, since I was not able to block their phoenix, I was going to be dying to that phoenix. And so I, I needed something to, do, to deal with that phoenix. So we got 1,000 gold. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, so still like the deck. The deck's still definitely fun to play. 
it was certainly my fault for keeping that first hand. Um, that was just not a keep. Um, Rona did something really cool in that other match against Grixis. Um, where... How we got to get back our blood fast. Like, you know, they had a, a discard spell to discard our, our blood fast. And then Rona got to exile the blood fast and ca cast it. Um... So that was certainly cool. Sideboard's still kind of janky. Honestly, maybe... The Infernos are just pretty hard to set up. Maybe we should just be playing, like, Thought Erasure. Like, it's definitely possible we should just be playing Thought Erasure's main and getting rid of the Infernos. I think we probably should just be doing that. We have two Thought Erasure's main. No Inferno. Then we can have a couple other cards here. It would be nice to have Contempt. So if we have... If we have two Contempt, two Moment of Craving. We don't need three Moment of Craving. Two Moment of Craving. And then we get one other card. Um, that we could have for the sideboard there. What would be another good sideboard card? Search is just incredibly good. That's why it's in the deck. It's just incredibly good. What's our other sideboard card? Hmm. I kind of like Golden Demise just in general more than Moment of Craving, honestly. But we could, could have a Golden Demise in there also. We have like the Ritual of Soots. No, I don't want Golden Demise. Hmm, we could have a Duress. Could have... Yeah, we got Soot Craving. That's fine. We have not opened the pack for 15 subs yet. Nope, we're going to go do that here. Um, no, we got, we got lots of other removal. We got Contempt. So yeah, putting two Contempt Soots. So I want... Another threat. Maybe a Nezahal or another Niv Mizzet. Um, Nezahal's kind of cool. Or like a, a Thief of Sanity or an Angrath. Let's get an Angrath in there. Tezzeret. Nah, let's go Angrath. Yeah. Get Ant Angrath. Yeah, Black Blades just is just too janky. Making our creatures a little bigger, or making our creatures bigger, is not necessarily what we what we need with this deck. There's a the cap. Okay, let's go ahead and get a pack for getting 15 subs. So I'm going to go ahead and do a poll here. Let y'all vote on what pack to go open. So, you got 60 seconds. Dominaria, um, M19, Rivals of Ixalan or Ixalan. Oh man, I would love the Scarab God as an additional threat for that deck, but not legal. Could have an Eldest Reborn. We've seen how good Eldest Reborn is. Could certainly be that. All right, what what side are we getting a pack from? All right, I'm going to save that for the changes. Moving the two Thought Erasers to the main. Uh, and taking out one Moment of Craving and then getting two Contempts and an Angrath in the sideboard. I'm keeping the keeping the YouTube video going. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can guess what what rare we're opening up if you'd like. Dominaria, huge winner. All right, Dominaria. Okay, where you can see the Naya decklist exclamation point decks. You can find the decklist there. 
All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and crack this one open. So we got Squee, Steel Leaf Champion, Teferi. Um, let's see what we got. Whoa, it's something I don't have four of. That's definitely good. Something we don't have four of. Let's see what we get. Sylvan Awakening! That's the fourth one. Man, I just, that was the latest card I used a rare wild card on was Sylvan Awakening. And so, of course, that's what we get. There's something about this that, like, whenever you use your wild cards on stuff, then you open it up. Because, <laughs> yeah, I had to use a, a wild card to get the third one for that Golgari Aggro lands deck. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Um, I'm going to call it a, a, an early night tonight. You know, our, our decks didn't didn't last as long tonight, and that's fine. That's fine. So, I'm going to call it a little bit of an early night tonight. Um, of course, the YouTube video, though. We're going to stop the YouTube video here. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to do that. And uh, check out another video.